What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts, as we continue to explore the latest new musical flavor. It's been a busy day of new releases that we are jumping into, and we're going to continue that vibe as we look forward. This one we're going to be getting into next, coming to us from the one and only Bella Schmurder of his brand new project, Hypertension. And he is joined on this one by one of the biggest breakouts of 2022, and that is, of course, Victony. This one goes by the name of no other, and I am very excited to see how the pair link up on it more than anything else too very kind of i want to say prominent vocal textures that they both possess it's going to be really interesting to see how the pair of them kind of intertwine on this one as always friends if you are new to the channel do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on of course leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff a massive thank you to all the new subscribers who have been joining us you are making my life so much more enjoyable and without further ado let's jump right into this uh-huh i'm loving this introduction it's got an almost sort of uh it, there's a much more of a sort of dancehall feel i feel about this one you've got a sort of shuffle going on that's more prominent in afrobeats but i feel the kind of instrumentation that's being used um in com in combination with a lot of those kind of chords that we're hearing the kind of chord uh, stabs as well um this really reminds me of a lot of kind of modernized dancehall stuff with a slightly more syncopated rhythm running throughout the heart of it this could be really interesting man i'm excited i only want you no other no other girl say no other no other girl just my mother i only want you no other no other girl say no other no other girl just my mother just my mother. Oh yeah, give me pom pom, give me pom pom, baby. Oh, di don don, oh di don don, baby. See what I'm saying about that more sort of dancehall influence? It's clear it's there. Um, I've, I always uh, actually to be to be fair, saying influence is wrong. I'd say kind of similarity. You can hear a lot of similarities to a lot of new dancehall music. I shouldn't say influence because I don't know where people's influences come from. So my apologies. But um, this sounds awesome. I'm loving the direction of it. Very electronic. We're seeing a much more sort of electronic style of vocal. Um, obviously from what we've heard on the album so far. This is really cool. Um, very electronic, very kind of potent, very much focusing on those rhythms and the simplicity of the instrumental structure. Ah! You never see millions of food. I know be small, but I know be what I get in. It's really cool hearing Victony arrive on a tune like this and having such an instant impact. I love the sort of, um, I, I want to say kind of mellowed out transition. Sorry, I'm punching my own microphone there. Um, I like the sort of mellowed out transition. The fact that it isn't just kind of... And then a kind of big thing into Victony. It's just a smooth kind of pass over. It's like passing a baton well in a, in, a, in a relay race. That's kind of how I describe it. Very smooth, very kind of uh, subtle. Then suddenly you're listening to those blissful tones of Victony, who arrives with a kind of choral effect going on. Let's see where we go. Forget about you, mommy. Nice. I can be your daddy. You see, the first time around, collaborative-wise, we, we hear that Victony vocal arrive, and it's subtle. It's very much sort of, oh, here's some Victony. And then it just goes, bang. No, we're going back into the main sort of scenario. So I like that. I like the fact that we're getting highs and lows in transition. It's not just the same transition every time. Well, our rears are basically being put on the edge of their seats because we don't know what's going to happen next. There's an unpredictability in this one, which I do really enjoy. I'll tell you what, what I've heard from this project so far from Bella definitely does feel like it's very kind of um, specifically designed. Nothing feels accidental. It all feels very deliberate in the way it's been put together. Forget about you, mommy. I can be your daddy, and I can be your nanny. I only want you, no other, no other girl, say no other, ah. no other girl, just my mother. Ay, 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 ay. I only want you, no other, uh -huh. no other girl, say no other. Very, very catchy. I'm going to be walking around the house singing this for the rest of the day, just that. No other. 
No, no, go say no, no. Very simple, but very, very catchy. And that's something that um, I feel Bella Schmurder definitely has in the locker um, in regards to kind of com- compositional value. And, and, and when he's actually writing, he knows how to put together these simple, but very catchy hooks over what we've heard so far to be quite stripped back instrumentals. Like this is a very simple um, backing. Realistically, you've got those chords, you've got the, the, the sort of drums, you've got the bass line, and that, that's it really that's all we're kind of hearing there's an occasional sort of pluck somewhere here and there but it's mainly uh, being driven by his vocal which is interesting no that girl just my mother just is my mother I'm liking this bridge because we're almost hearing like kind of 80s like rock style drums just kind of going just appearing randomly. It's a really unusual switch up, um, but it definitely adds something to the overall feel. Really, really cool, man. I think there's a lot of creativity in simplicity and how you use simplicity to your own advantage is how you find the creative edge in it. And what we've heard from this project so far seems to be that Bella is experimenting with that as an idea a fair bit. I love this sort of bridge here, though. It just has this kind of um, quite epic, almost stadium-esque feel, um, which I do like. But we are moving towards the end of the tune, so what we shall do is let it run through to the end, and then we'll give you our final breakdown. Let's go. Uh, Oh yeah, give me pom pom, give me pom pom, baby. Oh yeah, you're the don don, oh the don don, baby. Oh yeah, got pom pom pom. You can't fit your pom pom pom. Even even that little random reef sound at the end. There's a lot of creativity in this, man, which I did enjoy. But there we go. Bella Schmurder with no other featuring the one and only Victony. What I would like to have heard was more Victony, if I'm being entirely honest. I felt like his his sort of verses were either hidden away or he was in the back he was in the background a fair bit, or that intro verse that we heard was just a little bit too short. I'd have loved to have heard a lot more Victony all over this. And bear in mind it is only a two minute forty-eight tune, but there's still enough room for an additional kind of bridge section or something like that from Victony. But apart from that, I did enjoy it. I like the creativity i like the use of different bridges a similar theme to what we heard um on the uh tra- the collaboration with simi lose it we definitely heard that sort of com- constant switching of of uh, kind of sounds and styles and sections which worked quite well and it seems to be a running theme in this project definitely some dance hall influence in here especially in the instrumental structure um and I did enjoy it. I've got to say, I did enjoy it. A little bit upset at the lack of Victony on a tune that is advertised for having Victony in it. But um, it is only a feature at the end of the day. So that's probably personal preference for me. But there we go. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below on this tune. Would you have liked to have heard a bit more Victony? What's been your favorite track of the project so far? And of course, if you are new to the channel, do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page, turning notifications on as well, leaving a like, leaving a comment and all of that good stuff. I cannot thank you all enough for the support we've been receiving on the channel. We're now hurtling to towards 53,000 subscribers. It's crazy. I can't quite get my head around it, but thank you. And if you are new, please do consider subscribing. That's it from me, though. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. We shall see you all next time. Peace. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now. Corp Cam TV. Stay locked.